Hey guys, and welcome back to the Retrothon. We've just had some fun golf antics with Volk, and now we're going to take some pictures of some wild animals and throw apples at, <laughs> shit at them and all that oh, good yeah. shit. <laughs> welcome to Pocket Monster Snap for the N64. When the hell did this come out? Before 2000, I would hope. Well, yeah, it's an N64 game. I think this was quite early on. Like, I don't know if this and Stadium came out around similar sort of time, didn't they? Oh, this was um, almost past our cut-off cut point. This was the 21st of March, 99. Oh, so we're cutting it close a little bit here. Also, I swear <laughs> this cutscene at the start is like the only part of this game that goes up to 60. And everything else is just like N64, as you expect. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, just in case you don't, guys don't know uh, what we're doing here, we are raising money for the Child's Play Foundation, who uh, provide children stuck in hospital for whatever reason. Uh, be it extended stay, um, like disabilities and whatnot, uh, with toys and games to help ease their stay. It's a, a cause that obviously uh, all of HFC and our viewers can relate to, since we're all into video games here for the most part. And uh, every penny raised goes directly to them. Uh, we don't touch any of it thanks to uh, the uh, specific donation widget. And uh, for every $250 we do raised, we will unlock a new game to be played on April 1st and 2nd. Uh, it's not an April Fool's prank, I assure you. Uh, all the uh, games unlocked will be played on those days. We have unlocked Rye Star for the Genesis and Burning Rangers for the Saturn, I want to say, for him? I believe it's a Saturn game, yeah. That's, okay. that's the one that Snake's been testing rigorously like every week since last time, just to get it <laughs> running perfectly for us this time. Yeah, yeah it's funny. Um, both of those games are ones that we couldn't run in previous marathons. I think it was the Sega one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, both of them were, because Rystyle I was going to do, and then at the last minute I realised, hang on, I suck at this game, so maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute, I can't play games! <laughs> yeah. and, uh, Burning Rangers just would not play ball, despite Snake's best efforts to keep it running. So, uh, hey, that's emulation for you, I suppose. But he has played it from beginning to end. So if it does crap out this time, we'll just play something else and, uh, I don't know, put it on the uh, the backlog. But I assume it'll work this time, because he's played it through once or twice. And uh, we have a few bit wars going right now. Sorry I'm being so talky here, Flame, but I do have to uh, update everyone. I will be playing Sonic 3 & Knuckles on Saturday, I believe, which is March 30th. And uh, we have a bid war for that, a character bid war, between Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. Uh, Sonic is at $12, Tails is at 5 and Knuckles is currently the leader with $20 reduced. The cutoff point for that will be 3pm on Saturday the 30th, uh, that's 3pm GMT. Don't worry, uh, you can do all the shilling you want because we're just doing the tutorial level right now, which is like these Pokemon sit in front of you. This level is so much more interesting when you come back here later because you have extra power-ups and stuff to get more interesting shots. Well, I mean, this is just to get you accustomed to the controls and whatnot. Can you imagine if you were going at like speeds of the cave and whatnot for your very first level? Well, I mean, like, the speed up isn't automatic. You have to hold the button down. <laughs> Let's take a picture of Snorlax's crutch because why not? His crutch? Well, he's not waking up, so that's all I can get a picture of right now. Yeah, but it's pronounced crutch flame. It, it's Steve Roy, you're the one not talking properly, yeah, fuck you. Uh, Neo says, Pokemon Snap came out in 2000 in the EU, actually, so you should both actually be muted for this, or put on American accents. Well, boy howdy, partner, it's time for some Pokemon Snap. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have a medley of various Pokemon tunes on in the background. Let's see, what am I listening to now? What's the time? Oh, Lumio C. I'm surprised I didn't recognize that sooner. Yeah, that's like the main one from the best generation. Listen. <laughs> generation 6 is not the best Pokemon generation by far. Alright, okay, yeah. I'll concede it's tied with two. You know exactly how to twist the knife. After yes, all these years, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get an EV. I can't get the chancy yet because I think you need to throw shit at him. Uh, that's not the scientific term, but yes, you do have to do specific shit to get it to appear. Also, I may have just referred to the chancy as a dude, even though it's like one of the only Gen One Pokemon to be female only. I'm, Is I'm off to a bad start. Yeah, like there's that, there's Kangaskhan and Nidoqueen. I think huh. that's all of them. Interesting. 
Oh, we have a uh, $50 donation from Helix1B2 in chat. $50 towards Tom playing his knuckles. This is how I do it, right? That's how you do it indeed, mate. Thank you very much. Nice one. So, like, who's winning so far out of that? Well, <laughs> Knuckles, obviously. So, uh, you want $50 reduced to go towards Knuckles. That puts him at uh, $70 right now. I think I may need to refresh the page because I can't edit. Let's have a look here. Do do do. Scrolling down. Yeah. Oh, absolute power when it comes to editing this shit. It feels good. <laughs> that thing you had to ask Neo to help you do, like, minutes before we started that thing. <laughs> okay, we're not using the picture of Picky's ass. Why not? Because uh, you get more points if the face is in it. Okay. That's my reason, so I'll use the one that's a close-up. Uh, I got you. So Duo, they're both kind of shit pictures, but I think the first one's slightly less shit. Uh-huh. Just the one of Pika. Alright, we are currently at... Uh... $562.38 raised for Child's Play. Uh, once we reach 750 you guys will unlock the third incentive game. Nice one. Let's let Professor Oak judge me. <laughs> I will now judge you to see if you're fit. <laughs> Welcome back to hell. <laughs> This is not an emulator, but it is played on a Wii U. Yeah. Which it technically is an emulator. Holy shit, this pit this pitchy is lit! 1,000 points! I'm so excited by this photo of a basic bird that I can see literally just outside my lab. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'll do another short post on Twitter just to get people hyped for us taking pictures. Good shit. Wonderful. So, Flame, um, how did you get into uh, Pokemon Snap, mate? When did you first play it? I didn't play this when it first came out. I didn't actually get an N64 until quite a bit later. I got one pre-owned later down the line, and I got this. Yeah. I got Pokemon Stadium, and later I got Pokemon what? Stadium 2, as well as a couple of other N64 games. And okay. This is the one that stands, stands out to me the most, because it's like one of the earliest examples of Pokemon like doing a properly fleshed-out spin-off. Rather than just, you know, let's put a battle simulator on the console because fuck it, kids will buy anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I do kind of wish we had these sort of risky Pokemon games um, these days because there were tons of them back in like the DS era. You had like Ranger, you even had like Dash and whatnot, which I think was a DS launch game. Yeah, it was. Pokemon Dash 4 is. I'll admit, I kind of like it. It's not a good game, but it's a fun bit of, like, mindless mashing your fucking DS screen. Yeah. And to be fair, for those wondering why Flame didn't have an N64 around the time, uh, he wasn't actually born at the uh, time the game came out, so... <laughs> Fuck you. I was about four. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah. We banter, but we love each other, really. Although I love Pokemon more, so... Uh, to be fair, I'm not a multi-million dollar franchise, so I understand. You could be, you're just not putting your uh, best game into it, honestly. <laughs> Look at what I do for a living. <laughs> That's not worth that much. Hmm. Let me let trade out the fucking way. I'm a ball! <laughs> right, I, I'm sure, like, it probably won't happen this time, but when we come back here with items, I nearly always get myself blocked off by the Electabuzz. Uh, oh, I love Electabuzz. Because he gets right in the fucking way here. Do you remember anything. how Electabuzz sounds in the anime? I am sure you're going to demonstrate for me right now. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, I don't remember much of Electabuzz from the anime other than that one, like, three-parter during Johto where the Team Rocket guy had one. That was the Lugia oh, no. arc that they had. Oh, yeah, I... I f <sighs> I don't think I ever watched that while it was airing. I like watched a few episodes into Johto. It just went on for so long. Johto was probably the most horribly paced series, aside from maybe Diamond and Pearl. But Diamond and Pearl at least had other shit going on alongside Ash wasting time between gym battles. So. Mm -hmm. Pikachu is so fucking fat. Go on a diet. Oh, 
fucking fat shame the mascot of the series. <laughs> I know it's ironic. <laughs> like, look, Ryan Reynolds can cut down on the Pikachu anytime he wants, he just doesn't want to. He's got to get into the role, hasn't he? Uh, are you looking forward to Detective Pikachu, mate? Oh, I wasn't to start with, but after seeing the most recent trailer that came out, that does look like they've got the humour on point, so yeah. Yeah, it looks fun at the very least, you know? Yeah. What was in the egg? Well, we're doing the uh, the whole game here, and I'm, I assume we're going for all Pokemon Flame? Uh, we'll go to the end of the game and we will do repeat visits, so I'll try to show things off, but what I don't want to do is I don't want to be in the situation of redoing the same level over and over, so we'll do as much as we can without wasting okay. time. <laughs> That's okay, my compromise. <laughs> uh, let's see, Goldstorm07 asks, and by the way, you can ask questions here. Uh, I'll just read them out for uh, Flame to answer and so on, if they're directed to him. Uh, Goldstorm07 says, do you think... Uh, the Snap 2 ship has sailed for me, the 3DS of its gyro was the last best time for it to show up. Well, you see, maybe not, because the Switch also has gyro, you know? Yeah, it's a thing of, like, they technically could do it and they have the means to do it, but they probably won't. Uh, I don't know, it just seems like the sort of <sighs> thing that if they were going to do it, they would have done it by now. Hmm. Such a cock tease, the fact that these Magnemites are here where actually drive slowly past them, but you can't actually get the picture yet. How do you feel about Magnazone, mate? Magnazone's fucking lit. Magnazone! It's like one of the few of the extra Gen 4 evolutions that's actually <laughs> legit cool. There's that Electivire, and Ugh. Rhyperia. I like Rhyperia as well, but that's kind of yeah, about it. No. Sorry, no, I wasn't laughing at that. I was laughing at, um, you know, the Pokemon BEM. Oh yeah. Have you heard it's anime cry? And it like that really exaggerated thing. Be him! That's the one, yeah. I vaguely gonna... remember that episode, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking post it in chat. Jesus Christ. Kind of embarrassed on behalf of Pokemon, really. Let's see what Electrode looks... That one looks oddly happy, given we were pointing a camera in his face, so I'll take that. Mm hmm. An error has occurred. Please try again later. Uh, what's that one? It's okay, I'm just looking for a video to show off how stupid this Pokemon sounds. <laughs> Don't panic me, I thought I'd fuck the stream up. <laughs> <laughs> Which picture of Elector Buzz's back is the most interesting? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's see. Just before. Free. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the camera function in um, Gen 7 was dramatically underwhelming. Like, what, what's even the point of taking pictures of them if you can't then battle them? Like, maybe the camera startles them and they come for a fight? Well, it's, it was the like, Pokemon Company and Game Freak doing their usual thing of just half assing an extra feature to forget about later on. Yeah, and their thing is, we want to make each region unique, but the thing is, there's like a few things that would be very useful to have in future games, like soaring, for example. <laughs> Like a functional frame rate. Yeah, well, that's not a thing that's been in uh, any uh, post uh, Gen 5 regions, so. Uh, I haven't played the DS games for forever. Did they perform properly? Like, the most recent one I remember playing that was like a consistent 60 was fucking Emerald. Um. I think they mostly ran at 60. You'd probably have to ask Trevor Conroy for this information. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to Pokemon. I should go back to his Pokemon Black one at some point. I was like binging it and then I just lost interest. And it wasn't because it was bad or anything. It's just like, I guess my brain just said, oh, time to focus on something different now. I was like, okay, brain. <laughs> yeah, it happens to be fair. Mm hmm. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Professor Oak is a judgmental prick. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, like, you like donate a thousand dollars and you're like, you were close! <laughs> Donation wasn't in the centre of the screen, do it again. <laughs> I didn't think it would register that whole noise looking at the centre of the screen, but apparently it was. Well, uh, just roll that I suppose. Yeah, I ain't gonna complain about extra points. Degla is far away, it looks like a penis. This marathon is for the kids, but it's not for the kids. I just want to stress that again. Hello, Kuro. 
I don't know, I was just hearing a child making a penis joke. I'm older than you, I'm wiser than you, I'm stronger than you, and a better at Pokemon than you. Yeah, but are you gonna take Neo up on that fight or not? So anyway, I'm just gonna get <laughs> these dead oceans. <laughs> Damn it, none of them there. I'm awkward now. Right, I think this is the part where we have to get more points to get to the next area, so... Well, like you said, you are close. Yeah. Maybe if you could keep a guide open just to be on the no. safe side. No. Or we're gonna be here a very long time, and I don't think Spar's gonna uh, be playing golf at like uh, three in the morning. <laughs> it's not gonna be fucking three in the morning, Jesus Christ. You underestimate my incompetence. No, I don't. But <laughs> I also give you credit sometimes, so. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I could commit myself to showing off a really boring gallery like I did last night. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> no. Part <laughs> um. three, bit closer. At least face me. Face me, butter free, you coward! <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't get it. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Kyrex says, uh, hey Tom and Flame, favourite town theme in Pokemon, I really like Accumulator Town, although it's mostly because of the Furfect Walk video. Then he says Furret, then he says Fuck. Uh, I like Fuck Town too, <laughs> but no, I, I would <laughs> say like, in terms of the iconic ones, I have a soft spot for Lavender. I like Goldenrod City, that's, uh -huh. that's like one of the big ones from Gen 2, and also like... I forget the name of it, but the one where the WMD launch is from in X and Y, that's got that kind of sombre sort of tone, tone to it that I like. You see, Flame's technically not wrong, but describing it as a WMD is, um, I know, it's a bit harder to swallow. That's what it fucking is, though! <laughs> um, to answer your question, I kind of like Dandemil Town in the Gen 6. Mm. Like, I do like Gen 6's soundtrack like overall. It's Probably a lot stronger to, than Sun and Moon to me. I don't know if I'd go there, but I'm willing to say uh, Gen 6 is like OST is pretty good. It really is, yeah. Uh, Kura says, I can see why Ted wants to skip Pokemon Snap. Well, we all know about Ted's taste at this point, so I'm... Oh, Snap! There you go, name drop. <laughs> <laughs> Damo says, Flame finds nothing hard to swallow. What are you implying, Damo? He's implying you like it in the mouth. Oh, well, that's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Geosense Town. Yeah, Geosense, that's the one. Yeah. Right, I hope all these pictures are better than the one that I got in the first round. You weren't close at all. He's gonna fucking say that, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> You're an end salad, I don't like you. Can you hold off on the hurtful ones until later? <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> uh. This looks like a better PG and it will get the points for having the other one in the background, so that should boost us up. Nice. That's a better butterfree. What do you think about these um, Switch rumours, mate? Which ones? Um, that there's um, two new uh, SKUs, apparently, in the works. I don't know if they do it yet, but like they're obviously going to. It's like, a very Nintendo thing to do. And I think I'll say that, although I don't usually like the whole reissue the console later kind of trend, the Switch mm. is one that I would actually consider getting it if it's in a, a, like, a good enough of an upgrade. Okay, uh, this is what it says on the uh, Go Nintendo article. Following the Wall Street Journal's report on two supposed Switch redesigns, Eurogamer has put up a feature that shares a few more tidbits on the topic. They say that info comes from sources close to Nintendo, so do with that what you will. Uh, Nintendo is hoping to cater to the two same audiences it served with 2DS and new 3DS XL. The cheap option is aimed at casual gamers currently still using the 3DS. Uh, the unit's design will be sturdier than the current Switch model in order to be kid-proof. 
costs will be driven down by the removal of several features. Uh, this model will be handheld only. Uh, on the model with better specs, the bump will be comparable um, to 3DS to new 3DS. Uh, and Nintendo, as usual, says we have no announcements or have made no announcements, and we do not comment on rumor and speculation. Or if it's handheld only, I don't care. But uh, you know, that's because I mainly like playing games on the TV. I mean, you're playing the same game, so... Uh, we have $10 from Professor Oak. Hi, it's Professor Oak. My rating of this stream is... You are close. Now what's my grandson's name again? Wait, are you? What am I doing here? Thank you, Professor. It's not often we get a fictional character in uh, in any of these live streams. Do you want that to go towards anything? You can um, post your actual name in the chat, if so. <laughs> Ooh, the um, Gen 6 battle theme just came on. Oh, nice. Well done. I've had a couple of improvements on this round. That's good. I mean, it could be better, but it's also not bad. Eh, well, we know. You know, you get what you're given. Right, I need mm. 1,100 more points to get the next thing. So let's okay. go back through the tunnel and see what we can you do. You got it. I don't got it. <laughs> you do have it, Flame. You gotta you gotta believe in yourself, man. Yeah, well, I'll wait for an evidence based opinion. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure Professor Oak's grandson isn't named Ryan Oak. I think we'd stick with, like, blue. That would do the job better. Blue or Gary, honestly. Yeah, well, if you want to go with a four kids name, you do that. Nah. Hey, I still think, like, the first Pokemon dub is one of the best. It's one of the least bad four kids dubs. Okay. I'll meet you halfway. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yes it is. Calling Bill. Nah. Stay still, Haunter. No, he's a ghost. He has to go. Oh, he could at least let me take a picture before he goes. Let's try the other yeah, one later. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point, Neo. In the ghastly episode of the anime, Misty pulls out a Christian cross. I remember that, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was that, Battle of the Peak or something? Uh, Battle of Maiden's Peak, I think. Uh, oh, shit. Getting called out here. Oh, what are you done? Proper knowledge and whatnot. Uh, the ghost of Maiden's Peaks, there we go. We got there eventually. <laughs> that was the Venus Stoics episode, and nothing ever came of it. Gen 1 was fucking weird. It really because they didn't know what they were doing in the anime, and it kind of made it like more interesting. Like there was a Pokemon school early on where you learn about like levels and whatnot again, and I'm pretty sure that was never mentioned again. Of course it weren't. <laughs> like, that was a fun. That was a fun episode because the training program they had in the school was literally just Pokemon Red and Blue. Basically, yeah. <laughs> So I know taking pictures of the Magnemite right now will do nothing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Well, I can't tell what this strange silver creature is. <laughs> no idea at all. If only I had like loads of books with every fucking Pokemon in them as a Pokemon researcher. No. No, it, it must be a new Pokemon. <laughs> You're doing great, Flame. In fact, I just looked at the viewers and it said zero. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually around 50 or so. Uh, I mean, you've probably been getting used to that lately, haven't you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> you started that! <laughs> How well are your Let's Plays doing again? Uh, we, shall we compare, compare a few later? Let's not and say we did! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I overtook your gameplay channel the other day, so in fact... Yes, okay, Flame, thank you. <laughs> Just gotta rub it in a little bit. <laughs> that is one sassy electrode. It really is, yeah. Zupat seems pretty, pretty cheerful here or no. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Helix, for hosting us, and for the uh, earlier donation. Yep, thank you very much. Don't forget, guys, we've got bid walls going on right now. Uh, the main one is for uh, what character I'll be playing as in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That's between Sonic, Tails and Knuckles, uh, with Knuckles way in the lead at $70. Uh, we have a Super Smash Bros. 64 character selection thing, and uh, Captain Falcon is uh, winning that one, uh, but Ness is only $2 behind. So the characters you can pick there are Ness, Luigi, Pikachu, Kirby, DK, Link, Fox, Samus, uh, Falcon, Jigglypuff, Yoshi. I'm not seeing Mario on there. Uh, Mario is it. one that Spa's doing anyway, so it'll be doing ah. the Mario run and then it'll be doing whatever the donation voted one is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Love the job there. Uh, thank you, Biomechman, for subscribing. Don't forget that benefits HFC, not the charity, so uh, please only donate if you want to support Charles Flow. Uh, Health Icoms and Flaming Claw, did you two ever play Pokemon Training Card game, either in real life or the Game Boy game? Both, actually, yeah. Yeah, same. Like, I went to a Pokemon League when I was a kid, like, just playing card games and that. It's a pretty casual thing, but this was during the Pokemon EX era, the Gen 3 cards, which was like my favourite era of the meta, honestly. You hear that shit? You hear it? Yeah, actual proof I went outside once. But yeah, so... <laughs> Joke's on you, these came in the mail! <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yep, um, I have some uh, Pokemon training cards. I'm going to be starting a, uh, a card opening and unboxing thing come uh, June. And the first thing I'm going to be opening is Pokemon training cards. So uh, keep an eye out for that. It's called Entom Opens Up. I'll also be answering questions from our patrons and whatnot. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've just unlocked Pokemon food. Yeah, that's what we call you, apples now. You can feed them! <laughs> right, so it wants us to throw the Pokemon food to an electrode that's not moving, so Professor Oak wants us to blow up some electrodes. Mm -hmm. That's fine, Bio. Don't go broke trying to help the kids. The kids would like it if you could still, you know, feed yourself and whatnot. Mm. Yes. Although, I think, first of all, they'd be asking who you were. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> And who we are. <laughs> How'd I get here? Uh, let's see. Uh, Headbod STGS, what is the most bizarre thing you've ever seen in a video game, Flame? Uh, there's a lot to pick from, but I'm not thinking of examples off the top of my head. Hmm. The final boss of uh, Tingle's Rosy Coloured Rupee Land or whatever is pretty lit. I don't think I've seen that. Trust me, it's worth playing through just to see it. No, oh, I'll take your word. <laughs> That's one close up of a cocooner. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't mind me just having fun blowing up with electrodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, looking up the stats on um, Article uh, 13. Apparently the UK voted no by just over half, almost 60% actually. Uh, yeah, but you know, we've got to rely on the EU's boomers rather than our own boomers for this. Yeah, true. <laughs> See, like, that's basically what the decision comes down to, isn't it? It's like, we've got two sets of boomers, which ones do we trust more? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what is a boomer? Is it baby boomer? Is that what it's short for? Yeah, except it, it's kind of become a meme just to call anyone old that. Okay, I don't understand that, but also I'm out of touch, so... You are very out of touch from when I, I see you t tweet about politics, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as funny as your, 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 your views flame. Fuck it, I couldn't say about storing. <laughs> I'm done, bye. <laughs> Come on, you've already owned yourself enough with views of stream. <laughs> I was trying to impress the Diglett, but I think I knocked out Pikachu like twice there. <laughs> Not the first time uh, Flame has tried to make a small wiggly thing stand up and take notice. I don't understand the joke, Tom. Please explain it. No, because you do. <laughs> you aren't gaslighting me on this one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, so to get to the next one, I need to blow up that electrode over there. But I can yeah. also try and get the Magnemite. Or maybe I can't, maybe I need the festival for that. Hmm. Well, let's just try blowing up with that tribe. Oh. Yeah, he's going. Yeah. There we go. Electrode looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> He's blown the fuck up. I mean, it is understandable in context, but still. So self-destruct is less exploding and more just unleashing all your energy. I guess, except you sort of die in the process. Well, you, you get knocked out in the process. You die in the process. Okay. Wow, a dead electrode. That's pretty fucking lit, son. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up, son. <laughs> <laughs> this one has the best expression, so I'm using this. <laughs> no, I don't like Professor Oak. <laughs> Finally got a magic art picture. Nice. Oh yeah, guys, it's uh, Hellfirecom's 11th birthday today, 26th of March 2019, so uh, if you wanted to do something nice for us, you could donate to Channel Display by clicking the donate button below. Mm -hmm. I'd usually take pizza, but this is for the kids, <laughs> not for the Tom. Yeah. Wow, this cocoon is actually not bad this time. It's very nice, in fact. Yeah, I don't get the bonus for having other cocoon in the picture, but it's just a generally better shot anyway, so fuck it. You know, cocoon originally had arms. There was a piece of art that had it, like, with little pincers and whatnot. Well, not pincers, kind of like blades, like a Pregnant Mantis has. Never again. Never, never saw it again. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's design. It does unfold to have arms. Like, I'm sure I've seen yeah. that, like, in the anime and shit. Hmm. Pikachu looking slightly wary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. I think I had just thrown an apple in his face at that point. Nice. So you show it who's boss. Mm, that's 30 dominance. God says, or subscribe to the Patreon, sub to the Twitch channel, or put a $20 bill through the mail in an envelope that has M Tom scribbled on the address line. It will find its way to me, such is the way of N Tom and his love of money. <laughs> Biomechman says, I actually like the theory that Voltorb Electrode are Rotoms who possessed a Pokeball and got stuck, and its self destruct explosion attacks are the Rotom trying to break free from the Pokeball. That's interesting, actually. I've never heard that. Yeah, same, although it does sound a little bit dark, but hey. Hmm. I mean, it's a ghost, it's already dead, so... Yeah, but still, it's dead and trapped, it's like purgatory. Yeah. Come on, Vulpix. 
your apples. That's right, children. Go to volcanic areas and take pictures of animals. It will be safe, don't worry. I like how my Professor Oak is just a higher pitched mount shroud. Hmm. I wasn't going to say anything, but you know. <laughs> Look, it sounds like fucking Gen 1 Ogre, right? Yeah, I'll let you have that. What the fuck are they doing? There we go, that would go. They're staring at a wall. Charming alien and the falling over pissed off magma that's clipping through Charmeleon. <laughs> I see a fine prize. Oh my god! He <laughs> <laughs> was pushing the magma. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Moltres. Got the Golden Phoenix eventually. Now let's make these magma fight. Oh, he's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one. Yeah, yeah it's funny we played a Pokemon game because they only plays finished their um, run of Fire Red today. Wait, oh, no, red. not Fire Red. Just regular Red, actually. OG Red. Yep. I really like Jing one. I I still have a soft spot for it. I just think Gen Two is the better game. Yeah, that's fair. In you go. Best starter. Yeah, boy. Gotta take a little pitchy poo with us. Take a picture of me taking a picture. Yeah. That's the shot. Yeah. Oh wow. You got. What degree birds tried to get this picture? <laughs> I must suffer for my art. <laughs> How the fuck are Cubo and Born wearing the skull of their dead mother, by the way? Uh, it's the most complicated childbirth ever. Yeah. We won't think too hard about that one. <laughs> it's for the best. <laughs> I think Pokemon's pretty internally consistent. Yeah, it doesn't break its own rules that often, so you can kind of let a lot of it slide. Right, provide me with an example, uh, Kyrex, if you're confused. And I will own the libs <laughs> to raise money for the kids, who paradoxically are also probably liberal. I don't know, a lot of these are little kids who probably just don't give a shit, they've got more interesting things to think about. Mm, true. Shoulder buying Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess there's that's symbiosis. That's something that happens in nature all the time. Well, not in the exact way it happens, but yeah, like species combining and whatnot. Yeah. Wonderful. Magma Gang War, ten thousand dollars. Worth it. Hey bro, welcome to the stream. Hello. Yeah, Someone is pinging me. Who is this? Wonderful. Oh, I need two more Pokemon pictures, so I think I can get that now, I've got the apples. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, I can't knock, knock the piggy out of the sky. That sucks. Well, sounds like you're not cut out to be a Pokemon photographer, mate. <laughs> I didn't know that was a requirement, honestly. It sure is. It's in the fine print. Mm, I should probably start reading these things. Come <laughs> on, Pikachu. I want you on the surfboard. You're not gonna do it, are you? Oh yeah, maybe. There we go. Something Pikachu. Preposterous. Hmm? I've thrown so many apples at this Snorlax is nuts and he still ain't waking up. Well, much, much like with me, unless you're throwing like Doritos, I ain't getting up. So you'll incur that much pain just because you can't be asked to get out of bed? How is throwing an apple at a fat guy hurting them? Especially when you hit them in the stomach. I weren't aiming at his stomach, was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, you were aiming at, aiming at his oranges, so you were. Yep. <laughs> I figured that'd be the best way to get him up, but apparently not. Hmm. I know there's a scythe around here, but I might need the pestable for that. Yeah, you uh, apparently do. No, okay. Alright, well. Pretty sure I can get the chancy with just the usual apples. Can you imagine if like, Nintendo put out a secret update for this game and people thought it was just like, oh, it's just helping it to like run better or it's like firmware update? And then out of nowhere, there was just like a Gen 7 Pokemon that came out in N64 graphics. Yeah, just like maybe one of the Alolan forms or some shit. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? And it never appears again. Yeah, it's just like there's this random lost Vulpix in the thing. I, I want the Chansey. Don't let me miss... Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I could swear one of them apples hit, so maybe I need the festival for that as well. I think you do, yeah. Maybe. Oh, well, maybe I'll have to go find some other species in on the other areas. Just to let you guys know, uh, we are currently at uh, $570.38 raised for Child's Play out of a possible goal of $1,999, $1,999. We're keeping it retro, we're playing games made before the year 2000, and thus, that's our goal, $1,999. so horrible. <laughs> I mean, if it gets me points. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh. Oh yes, and uh, every two hundred fifty dollars, yeah. uh, since this is a shorter marathon, you'll unlock a new incentive game. So we're roughly about, I would say, a hundred and. I have to do math here. You can understand for uh, someone like me, this is kind of hard. Give me a second. Uh, 30, 550, roughly about $180 away. So. Mm. But I, had, I did know. Yeah, I was going to correct you because you were referring to only one math for some reason. Yes, yeah, I, I work <laughs> with Americans a lot, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't, don't let that influence you, though. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Go get Marg on a cross, why don't you? Uh, sure. Got nothing better to do later. <laughs> <laughs> and three days later, he will rise and still be in his house. 
Welcome back. Okay, so I wonder what other Pokemon I can get then. Let's try the tunnel again. I think I might be able to get Zapdos now that I can lure the Pikachu over to the egg. Uh, I think you need the Poke Flute. Do you? Huh. Not entirely sure. Guys, can we get a double check on that? I'll just open up a guide. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine needing a guide for Pokemon Snow. Well, I mean, there's stuff you need to know, and yeah, I well, know I'm a fucking scrub. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's the closest close up the Electabuffs could possibly have. Mm. Oh, Tom's right. Okay. Well, I'll see if there's anything that I've missed so far and we'll go through there. Uh huh. <laughs> Here, Kaishi, do all the work. <laughs> I don't think you can take pictures of um, the Magnemite with apples now, and you can make them evolve into Magnemite. Oh yeah, that might be the one we want to go for. Mhm. Mm yeah. Guess you do need the thing then. Well, he was showing a bit of interest, so... It's not bad. Some music could spice up the situation. As we have none? No. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back and try the chancy again if I, if I miss either Magnemite or Magneton here. Mm -hmm. And you can get the dog tree, oh darling. Uh, I don't think you can involve the tickler there. Yes, you can. Are you sure? Yes, you just take keep taking pictures of the uh, the tickler and whatnot. Keep laying the picture over. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one before. Really? Yeah. Huh. Let's try and knock out this Magnemite and get it to do its thing. Right, I've got Magnemite from behind, but hopefully if I knock that other one, then they'll buddy up. There we go, Magneton. You're still missing Moltres because you didn't submit a pick of it to Oak last time. Didn't I? I must have missed that one. Yeah. Apparently so. When we get the Pestables, I'll go back to the Volcano, because I want to get like the Arcanine and whatnot, so I guess I can take another one of them there. Okay. Uh, we have a $10 donation from Scott Elder. Hey, you might not be able to catch much of the streams as they happen, but wanted to chip in. Thank you, Scott. Uh, always liked this charity as I was in the hospital for a few days when I was about 13, and having a PS2 I could play sometimes was nice to pass the time and feel normal. I only played Pokemon Snap recently. Really fun game that should have had a HD sequel with hundreds of Pokemon on Wii U. Tons of potential there wasted. Best of luck with all the runs and all the best to the runners. Have fun and make muns. Scott Elder. Thank you, Scott. If you want that to go towards anything uh, like, I don't know, um, the Sonic 3 and K Bid War or stuff like that, let us know. Mm -hmm. So you ever say, Flame? Mm -hmm. I say other things sometimes, except people usually ask me to stop talking then. Well... You gotta fight your better instincts and uh, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> well, a lot of the time it's you. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't do that then. Don't do what Tommy Dome does. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Spars reminding us the Mario Golf Mario Golf bid war. I'll try that again and end straight after this game. So if you want to ah, name does, the character, yes. this is yes. your time to do it. Yes, let's have a look here. There's a Mario Golf uh, name the character bid war going on. 
right now, and uh, it's a dead heat between Silver with ten dollars and uh, LGM, which is local German man. Watch the uh, the Neo Turf Wars vod if you want to, uh, like you know, context on that. And uh, LGM is winning by one cent. So if you if you like donated a dollar and put it towards Silver and Mario Golf, you would win essentially, <laughs> providing no one overtakes you. So uh, that ends at the end of Pokemon Snap. So get your donations in right now. Mm. Let Professor Oak judge the size of my dick. Look. Go and say what you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go to jail again. <laughs> Got a story to tell there, Tom. <laughs> no, that's Professor Oak. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, your last shot was better than the last. Mm. Yeah. Your size is a very good flame. Are you protecting? No. My size is so, so pretty bad and not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to have seen a Venusaur in the game, but it's just not here. No, it's not really. Like, I, Can you get Blastoise in that later level, the Valley 1? No, pretty sure no. Oh, I know you can get Squirtle, but... Yes. Yeah. Uh, that... Well, that's... Well, S3 and KB original will be using Sonic 3 Complete, uh, similar to how Volk used Anniversary Edition for Duke Nukem. I've never played Sonic 3 Complete, but if uh, Flame wants to hook me up with it, I'll give it a shot. Uh, we'll see what's what. I have a ROM 2 hand that's the version I use for the long play, which is the standard one, but if we want to try and get Complete running, if people want that, okay. we could look into it. I, I know I said Venusaur, okay? I'm sorry, I say wrong things sometimes. Is that where you buy the Venusaur from? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm on to talk about mispronouncing words, so I am well aware of the irony there. Okay. Come on, let's wake up this fucking Bulbasaur already. Oh, these apples ain't good enough for you, are they? Oh, there we go, there's one. Oh, that is a happy Bulbasaur. <laughs> it really is. Ah. Oh, Slowpoke, let's get a bit closer to him. See if we can bait him over to the fishing spot. Mm hmm. I think he's doing the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best photo, but whatever. And that's where the Volplume is, but I think you kind of have to get one or the other, either Slowbro or Volplume because of where they're placed, so maybe we'll get him on around two later. <sighs> Headbud SGD can't even fucking talk right now. Headbud STG says, Lane Point Incoming, are you having a Blastoise with this stream? 8D. <laughs> Funny. That's a good one. I'm willing to encourage this. I hate you so much, man. I hate you so much. <laughs> Do you want to play the fucking game for us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good, thanks. There you go, if you want to skip out on effort, then you got to keep me around. <laughs> okay. Good old side dog, just swimming like figure eight circuits, for no reason. Yeah, he just feels like it. Probably good exercise. I think you need pasta balls to get Porygon, by the way. Yeah, I was just thinking that, but it's worth a try. Yeah, because that's the one that you have to throw a pasta ball at to get him to open the gate. Bradbury2 says, well, despite my back Venusaur, I'm electric. Mm. <laughs> Acknowledged. <guess> some of that. <laughs> Acknowledged. <laughs> 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 oh 
I just got a uh, content ID claim or one of the brutal legend parts. They took their fucking time with that, didn't they? Uh, I don't know who it is. It's someone called Zeon Entertainment. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. Although, uh, uh, mind you, that might be a record label or something, might not it? I, I know, but at that point, it's like so old. Why are you even bothering to tell me? It's making no money. <laughs> Well, they need that fraction of a penny that it might make over the next 10 years. No. <laughs> that close-up of Slowpoke is me at any given time of the day, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that can be your picture. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh. you. Actually, I want to find a good high-quality Slowpoke book. Go for it. Perfect. Just paint background with Slowpoke's face. Good stuff. <laughs> that was a shit picture of Cloister. It was, you should feel ashamed, honestly. Don't worry, I already do. <laughs> yes. I'll let you read out Headbot's news post. <sighs> Let's hope these puns don't get too far fetched, 8D. Nice! <laughs> I am entirely down with encouraging all of these because it makes Tom cringe. <laughs> mm. oh. Okay, now my uh, my Twitter avatar is just Slowpoke's face in extreme close up. <laughs> nice, I'll have to have a look at that later. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, Neo has come up with a thing for uh, Half-Life Part 1 tomorrow. If you donate $100, he will read out the entirety of Half-Life Full Life Consequences. Oh, nice one. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe it'll incentivize You've never heard of never heard of Half-Life Full Life Consequences? I have not. Really? You've not heard, and the pants were dead? I have to go fast and bullets too slow? I have you not. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Consequences will never be the same. You know a John Freeman? Uh, I know nothing about Half-Life or any of the surrounding stuff. Oh. Oh. Welcome back. Are you disappointed in me? <laughs> I am a little. I don't know why, but I am. <laughs> Let's go get that fucking mole choice. <laughs> Maybe a better rapid dash. I'm not sure if that was a better rapid dash or not. That's pretty fucking easy to tell, mate, if you use your short-term memory. Hmm... That requires me using my short-term memory. <laughs> uh, too much faffing to legs, that's your problem. <sighs> but I haven't done that. <laughs> Today! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did just make the Vulpix headbutt into each other. That was fun. Mm. That's the picture quality holding up on stream, by the way. So I've got a oh, bit stream. of an experimental setup here. Because anyone who's used the Wii U for anything knows that the Virtual Console comes out really, really dark for some reason, so you have to fuck around with it. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks fine, mate. <laughs> That's good. Get a better Charmander shot. If he'll come near me. No, he won't. <laughs> you were my favourite starter, but at least be nice to me. 
Oh. Pestables for them, so that will be a comeback later kind of job. We have a couple of new donations, so we have a $100 donation from Ronald D. Rankin. Been watching HFC for 11 years now. Here's a little something to help those kids. Keep up the good work, everyone. Thank you very much, Ronald. And uh, $6.16 from Mr. Ghostmar put this money towards silver for Mario Golf. Thank you very much. Uh, Ronald, if you want that to go towards anything, we do have a couple of uh, bid wars. If you want to check the, uh, the schedule below. Do, do, do. Just gonna update this first and foremost. Well I'll have to get out the calculator for this because uh, stuff is scary. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get it right. Don't judge me. No, that's fine. Well done. There we go. We are now at six hundred eighty-eight dollars and fifty-four cents. Nice. And for silver, so that puts silver at sixteen dollars and what was that? Uh, sixteen cents. So uh, it is now beating LGM by uh, six dollars and one cent. Oh, so someone could still snipe that yet? <laughs> We're almost at the next game too, guys. So you could very easily snipe that. <laughs> well, we're like halfway through, maybe, but still. Local German man absolutely devastated. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Here is a present for you. Okay, we got the pestable. Nice. Yes. Do boom, boom. Yes. Oh, I don't think Ronald's in the chat anymore. I was going to ask him what he wanted to put it towards. Oh well. Knuckles remains undefeated as of now. Nice one. Got Bob Sword in a little trick. Oh, Hello, Gamer Guy. Welcome to the stream. We are raising money for Child's Play. They uh, provide kids in hospital with toys and games to help ease their stay. If you want to help out, there is a donate button below, and you can check the schedule as well. 
Oh shit, we have another one hundred dollars. Oh wow. Voting for Tails for the free and K stream. Hope all the different ones go well from Chaos Heart. Oh no, thank you very much. Alright, <laughs> uh, just gonna put another hundred on there. And well, wouldn't you know it, we have unlocked the uh, the next incentive game. Oh nice, what have we unlocked then? Well, if you'll allow me to just go ask people in the know. Uh, Neo, Neo, could you um, <laughs> could you DM to me what the third game is, please? <laughs> Thankfully, hundreds are uh, very easy to put into the fig. Oh, okay, you want me to put it towards Knuckles in uh, Sonic 3K? You got it. Just, just, just sniped. Alright, so that's Sonic at twelve dollars, Tails at hundred five, and Knuckles at one hundred and seventy. Mm. Yeah. 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 I'm just confirming stuff now, guys. No, it's not Sonic Free Riders. That's not retro at all. <laughs> and nostalgic throwback to like what was it, twenty thirteen? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Oh, okay. The third incentive game, guys, is OG Tetris for Game Boy. Yes. That's... It's a fixed fixed hour showcase by Flame. Mm. Yeah, so we're going to be showing off a few of the different modes on that and with different music tracks and whatnot. That's, that's going to mm -hmm. be good. So, what did I update quick? I was actually on the ball for once. Does so that mean Neo did it? No, it was me! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm sorry, this is like a reflex at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hate you so much, Jesus. <laughs> I may not deserve it, but still. <laughs> yeah, so you do need the... Uh, Pokey flute for viral plume, so that would be yep. another trip here. <laughs> uh -huh. By the way, guys, if you can't donate, spread the word, and Lincoln's stream can help a lot as well. If you know any, um, what you would call it, people with big audience figures. Wow, I'm just not in my A game right now. Yeah, if you know anyone who has a big audience who might be able to give us a shout out that would be great if not then you know tweeting about it sharing in any discord groups you're in anything will be appreciated and unlocked the third incentive game you were close well done Well done. There we go. See what he thinks of Dead Psyduck. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> no, he says it's not very good. Maybe next time don't kill the Pokemon first. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Are you sure there's a Pokemon here? It's kind of camouflaged. <laughs> Point though, why is the robotic Pokemon hanging out by the river? Uh. <laughs> it just is. It's not a robot, it's a program, I'm pretty sure. Well, it will have a physical form which will be a robot. Not a robot, just inorganic. Well, what's the fucking difference if it's like a thing that's been made and it has a computer program in it? It's a fucking robot! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's safe to talk now, I'm not gonna do it again. No, you're on your own now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the cave, this one was fun to record. 
<laughs> I bet. <laughs> There's a lot of fiddly stuff that you can miss a few things. Oh yeah. Let's get the Grimer there that's miles away. Let's first get Bulbasaur, then throw the thing at it. Come on, let's hit. And there's Ditto. Just enjoying the atmosphere right now with the Pokemon music and the Jigglypuff boss being hurtled through time and space. Yeah, I'm trying to get the coffin, but apparently he's faster than me. You're not allowed to die yet. You can't get the coffin. You, oh. have, to, you have to stay and finish the stream. <laughs> that is the weekend, though. I think you got Pester Ball him in there, but I'm not sure. First thing I see when I glance over at the cat is all caps kill Jigglypuff. Like, Brad, what do you ever do to you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't judge. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's a bit of history between them two. <laughs> you don't want to know. Vicious gag war. <laughs> Jigglypuff Mafia. Do I want to save Pikachu from the zoo bat, or should I just let him keep going? It's up to you, mate. Yeah, you can good. at least <laughs> you, can, you can at least get balloon Pikachu. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. It's technically flying Pikachu. That's what the TCG card was called. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I do. Okay. There we go. Take some pictures of Jinx. Horrible stereotype. Mm. Multiple ways, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna kill Pikachu, Brad. Uh, yeah, the crystal egg is Articuno Kyrex, you just have to have the Poke Flute to get it. Mm -hmm. That's technically a coffin picture, but fuck it. Headbot STG says, Are you trolls of a fat as Oak A? Well done. Someone mad. <laughs> a little bit. I'm not gonna read the next one unless he put, puts in a fucking donation. Let's <laughs> monetize your suffering for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Don't forget, guys, there is a, a Mario Golf bid war going on right now, and it will end as soon as Snap's done. And let's see, uh, to name the characters, Silver is in the lead with $16.16, and uh, in second place is LGM uh, with $10.01. You could have an entirely new character if you uh, were to donate $16.17, so uh, just something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. You can easily snipe that one if you want. That picture of a coughing was more like a picture of Jigglypuff than anything. 
Especially given Pigglypuff was obscuring his entire face. Yeah. This is just a picture of a Jigglypuff. I know, but the very slight sliver of purple was in the center, so it counts as cuffing. Wonderful. This is the most so so picture of a Weeping Bell I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I could get a much better Weeping Bell picture. <laughs> Ten dollars from Neo. Local German man told me he needs to revive his golf career. From Neo. <laughs> Fine. Ten dollars for a local German man, which now puts him at twenty dollars and one cents. Well done. Flying Pikachu beats Surfing Pikachu, by the way. Good. We are now uh, two dollars away from uh, breaking eight hundred. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's gone up really quickly today. I remember like I was saying we had a couple come in earlier on, then I went out to get some grub, and then when I got back, it was like you got like hundreds. Yeah, <laughs> one more Pokemon. Okay, let's see if I can get that chance. Lee. Welcome back. Yes. Local German meme shall win. Well, it could, could be Snipes. Could be mm -hmm. Snipes. Anyone could put in twenty-five dollar dues and name it pretty much anything right now. Nice <laughs> bigger Starlux. Yeah, that, that was actually me in a motion capture suit. <laughs> Got some good ones in Meowf so far this one. Mm -hmm. Meowf. Uh, rip money blasting. It's surprisingly hard to get Cypher to appear sometimes. Yeah. Let's <laughs> chance see. There's a giant fucking egg. <laughs> oh, Kangaskhan is pissed. Yeah, Kangaskhan has one of the most recognizable, like, idle animations with regards to the N64 model. It's so, like, iconic, for lack of a better word, that if you watch um, the second Pokemon movie, The Power of One, towards the end there's, like, tons of wild Pokemon on the ice, and you can very clearly see they just took the N64 model for Kangaskhan. Beautiful. <laughs> if that's not the case, I don't know what is, because that's the only thing that makes sense. Or they just use the same, like, animation. No? Yeah. Yeah. It's a possibility. Let it, no. Stop talking like me. No. <laughs> I deserve this. Seeing the words photo by HFC 
by a picture of a, um, a Snorlax and a friggin' for lack of a better word, spastic me out of, and that's just me and Flame in a nutshell, really. <laughs> oh, perfect, yeah. Alright, that's, that's just my, my usual pose when I'm just fucking with you on these streams and shit. No. Throw in a bunch more stuttering, some, uh, I don't know, some... Ugh, fuck it. I, I don't know where I was going with this, so you just, you're just annoying. Okay, well you're the one who's got the I showed you my dick now answer me pose. Look at this shit. What? Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Yes. Play the fucking game for <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, we got motherfucking Hughes theme on my um my soundtrack here. Oh I remember so little of Gen 5, I can't even remember what that song's like. He's played Black 2, mate. It's the shit. I've heard, but also like I, I didn't take too well to the first one. I wasn't that invested in like the region mainly, so I just never really got around to beating the second one. Hmm. Keep flying, Pika. You were close. Yeah, this me our friends. Yeah. Helps that it's not fucking dead. Mm, yeah, true. <laughs> The idea of Professor Oak saying this angry shot is pretty cool. <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, like, Professor Oak is a researcher, just go piss off all the wildlife. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. And we unlock the valley. Yes. Feel free to read that new comment from Brad. Nope. <laughs> Not doing it. There's Squirtle. I love how out of all the Pokemon signs, the Doug Trio one is like the most obvious. Yeah. doing its thing. Being angry, mostly. Pretty much. Seen his tail at least. <laughs> I'm just tired by nature gold. I, don't know, I wouldn't read too much into it. Or was that meant to be like, oh, Tommy, not saying much? Maybe, maybe you should try talking a bit more. I know gold. He can be sassy if he wants to. <laughs> I can see the seams in the skybox. 
Yeah, that happens when you emulate N64 yeah. games. Both TBH? Well, I never. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking owned, mate. <laughs> You unlock the next thing by knocking Squirtle up there. Yep. And I show it from the complete wrong angle. <laughs> Epic! <laughs> you fucking dumpty. I didn't know how, like, auto aim it gets. <laughs> For some reason, Go Nintendo is showing footage of Final Fantasy VII for Switch is funny to me, as if everyone in the world hasn't already seen it. <laughs> well, you got to make sure that everyone can see that they've upscaled the mobile port again. Yeah. Like, to, be, to be fair, like, although that's what they've been doing, I have played a bit of the 9 port and it's a decent enough port. Like, you can look past the mobile elements of it. Okay. I've got Squirtle as it blinked. Shitty photos of Dratani's tail is better. Mmm, <laughs> you were close. <laughs> you were far too close. <laughs> wow. Seriously, are you, are you trolling me? This could be a dragon air for all I know. <laughs> uh. Star, you looking at you menacingly from the distance. <laughs> It's not Dratini's penis. Jesus. <laughs> you were close. Wonderful. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> a suspicious switch. Yeah, so basically we've got to keep on retrying this until I get the fucking monkey now. It's pretty easy, you just have to wait until it lines up. Yes. Dick T D really Kerex? <laughs> I mean, it made me laugh, so I can't talk down to it. <laughs> How much is left? Probably a little bit, because we've got to get the Pokemon signs, and then there's the final level. Mhm. Mm so you've not got much longer to go, guys, until uh, the uh, the bid war for um, Mario Golf ends, and uh, well, LGM is uh, currently in the lead, so. Cockamere. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, is it meant to be Dictini or Dictiny? <sighs> I'm not dignified out of a response. <laughs> Coward. 
Okay, okay, fine, Flames. Since it's your guardian angel, it's Dick Tiny. <laughs> uh, fuck, that backfired. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> What is the character limit for uh, Mario Golf, you say? I'll ask. What's the character limit for Mario Golf names? It's supposed to say seven characters. Seven characters, okay. So, keep that in mind if you want to put in a new name for um, Mario Golf, but it will have to be at least $25 now if you're going to beat LJM. Or GM, sorry. Tini does not fit those demos, it is too long. <laughs> what a big username. Dragonite, fuck yeah. Woo! It's Goofy. That's no, nice, Dragonite. Goofy is a different character. Gosh. Let's line this up the best I can. Fail. If I fail, you've got to sit and wait for longer. Okay, don't fail. Got him. Thank fuck. <laughs> I get the whole wishing ill on me thing, but you've got to bear your own time into consideration as well. <laughs> I suppose so. Go on, Mankey, do your thing. Do I have to hit him? Let's try. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. We're getting the explanation about how Pokemon signs work, so that's going to be our next little quest to go and find them all in each of the levels. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, if you don't have the dash engine or whatever, you can just run out of film. Yeah, you just smash the button. It's a slightly better Squirtle. Yeah, slightly better. Dragonite. Yeah. Well, I mean, every Dragonite's a good Dragonite. I think you can pause it in the course. I think I did that in the HFC playthrough. Uh, yeah, you can. You can pause and restart if you need to or quit out. Nice! You were close. How was my last shot better? For Dratuni. Who knows, mate? Oh well, we've got more points, so whatever. You were close. Well done. Wow. 
wonderful. There's the monkey. Yeah. Monkey is another name for penis. Yours might be. What? Monkey dick. No, I'm talking about a man key. Oh, so you really put thought into this? <laughs> As opposed to you, fuck off, Lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, so, what have we got? Oh, this is where we get the boost, so that will make the repeating stuff less tedious. <laughs> $25. Make Flame's Fursona Dictini the winner. <laughs> I was unaware I had a Fursona, but sure. <laughs> well, it's uh, the winner now for uh, Mario Golf. D I K Tini. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> right, although you are going to be chatting with the chat for just a moment, and I'll be with back in a sec, so there you go. Okay. He was so overwhelmed by that show of support, he had to uh, head off for a second. Uh, 54 plus 25. We have now raised $823.54 for Child's Play. Thank you so much, guys. Well, if you... Uh, if you want a LGM to win, you're going to have to donate yours. Don't wait for other people. Get them in. And I'm keeping a close eye on things, so no donation will go unheeded. <laughs> Fucking dick to you, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Deimos likes to keep it fair. He doesn't always donate in his favour. Sometimes he'll play devil's advocate. Yeah, exactly. You do it for a chuckle, Deimos, you know? Don't worry, Silver. Spar's just mad because his name isn't Silver. Yeah, he likes to give me panic attacks, does uh, Deimos. <laughs> we have an $8.99 donation from Crazy12Eric. LGM will get his redemption arc. Oh shit. Gonna have to do some hard number crunching for this one. $29 on the dot for uh, LGM beating Dick Teeny by $4. All you gotta do is donate $5, guys, and Dick Teeny's back in the lead. This is when. Things get hot and spicy. Where the hell is flame? Yeah, I'll wait for him to come back. It's not like I feel like getting out of my chair. It wasn't a real panic attack. I was just hype, okay? I'm just saying... Doing some number crunching, guys. I'm not ignoring you, don't worry. I too get hyped for panic attacks. Same. <laughs> okay, let's go get some Pokemon signs. Yeah. So I think the first one at the beach is a Kingler. 
that's made up from the rock formations. Yeah, all these are pretty easy, honestly. Mm. <laughs> this is the part where I fuck it up. <laughs> you got the flute, right? Uh, he hasn't given me the flute. No, what do you have to do to unlock the flute? Hmm, not honestly sure. Cause yeah, I know you need it for a couple of songs. All right, maybe once I've got one, he'll start giving yeah. me rewards. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the rock formation, so I need to just cycle past. Mhm. Mm There's my boost. Uh, we have a new donation. Uh, Four dollars and one cents. Dick Teeny is in the lead. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> my God, by one cent. <laughs> well, I mean, it is tiny. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. There's the Pokemon sign for the beach. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Oh, so I need so many more points on my report, so I imagine I get that from the Pokemon signs. So the ones mm. I know I can do, I've done beach, I know I can do valley, because that's just the Dark Trio, so let's get that yes. done. Mm-hmm. Neo saying local German man gets absolutely pounded by Dick T. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the uh, the home stretch of Mario Golf now, guys. So uh, Silver is trailing with sixteen dollars and sixteen cents. LJM is at twenty nine dollars, and just in the lead is Dick Teeny with twenty nine dollars and one cent. I love this stream. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so maybe they don't give me points, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go try and get some of the other Pokemon I missed from the uh, Volcano, because I know there's like okay. the Arcanine and the Growlithe and whatnot. I said LGM, why do you think I'm saying it slow? It's so I don't say J. Fuck. <laughs> Shit damn. Right, I can get the sign here if I just get the thing in there. There we go. Let's go get the Arcanine. We've had the way, Vulpix! <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Fuck you, legendary Pokemon. I, I, I've sometimes said LGM, I've sometimes said LJM. I'm sorry, certain words and whatnot are hard for me to say. <laughs> you want a bid war, mofo? Let's go. LGM for the win. Crazy12, Eric donates $2. Nice. Puts him at $31. Just over Dictini. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mystery Man, I got the Mog Trace last time I came here. There you go. Did you get the uh, the coughing sign, by the way? Uh, yeah, I did. Cool. Make sure to actually submit them, otherwise they don't count. I know. Do you? No, I don't. Remind me next time. <laughs> okay. That is a majestic Arcanine. <laughs> I love Arcanine as a design. Yes. Mm hmm. Kind of sound that Arcanine didn't get a lowland form like uh, Ninetales did. Yeah, that's weird. Weren't they version exclusives? Yeah, they were like the counters. So, like, one of them had uh, Vulpix and Ninetales, and the other had Growlithe and Arcanine. So, they're kind of mm. like the, you know, complementary Pokemon for each other. Yeah, wow. both fire types as well. Yeah. Like, a nice type Arcanine could have been really cool. Like, no. actually, not just the pump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
That's a very nice size of Arcanine. So many embers. <laughs> Wonderful. Wait. It may look like a ball of fart gas, but it's actually a coughing. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, it's the pokey flute. Yeah, now you can pretty much do all of them. Yeah. Yes. The tunnel. I know I've got to do something with the electabuzz to make it light up the these signs. Yeah. Oh, so you you have to release Zapdos, which is leading Pikachu over to it with apples, the egg, and then playing the flute. Okay. And that that will light up the cavern. Oh, okay. Oh, then you have to, I think, manipulate the electables. Oh, so this is a fun one. <laughs> it's a doozy, is what it is. <laughs> the boost is great and all until we're fucking electrodes and then the electabuzz getting your fucking way. Mm-hmm. So lead Pikachu to the egg and then use the flute. Yes. Sorry, I was a bit slow on the uptake there. Uh, let's see. Five dollars from Special Rose. Local German man pounds Dictini into submission. I am so sorry. Uh, that's another five dollars putting LGM at a. Uh, sorry, LGM at 36. Dick Teeny is now trailing behind, limp and forgotten, at $29.01. Yeah, maybe you need some, you know, pills for that. Oh, donations will help. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... I've got to get the Elector bus somewhere. if I'll try getting them over to that little switch thing. Oh no, Deimos, no! Two dollars from unknown, Dictini stands out in front proudly. That, that, that's not enough to secure his victory, you know. But it helps it along the way, and I got the sign. Yeah? Nice. Fuck it, can't be asked to wait for the Magmite to get out of the way. <laughs> Deimos does a lot of things, Kyrex. He can handle his money, don't worry. I don't think he needs a Magnemite, he's not going for 100%. I got Magnemite earlier, I think. Well, there I think. you go, Spur. I think. I definitely got the Magneton, I'm pretty sure I got a Magnemite before it evolved. Mm -hmm. You have until we catch Mew, by the way, to uh, finish off this bid war. We'll take a photograph of Mew. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, LGM is winning at $36. Oh. Dick Teeny, just a bit behind at $31.01. Hmm. Catch, take a picture of whatever. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't think I remember what the river one was. The river is Vilebloom. Well, technically you use the thing to knock it out and then you take a picture of a cubo and behind it. Oh, okay, then, right. I know where Vilebloom is, it's just around the corner here, so let's do that. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I see the key then. There you go. Ten dollars from unknown. This shall help D Dick TD stand out proudly in front. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Dick TD is now at forty-one dollars and one cent. In the lead. I think I've got everything I need from there, so... Mm -hmm. Just checking with Oak. 
Local German man must be feeling a bit insecure right now, losing to a fucking meme. <laughs> or isn't local German man also a meme? Shush. <laughs> it's fine. Wonderful. is the Mewtwo one, but I can't remember how to get it. I think you've got to light something up somewhere. Oh, um, the cave is just Mewtwo chilling in the back. Mm. I'm pretty sure anyway, it's just stones in the background. Yeah, I'd seem to recall there being like a lighting thing that makes it stand out, but I don't know whether you have to do something for that or not. A <laughs> dollar donation from Crazy 12 Eric. Local German man will make the kids happy, damn it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's 44 for that. LGM is again in the lead. It's in like the pitch blackness near the end, I think. But I'm just keep looking. Yeah. Keep looking to the pitch black, and you should see it eventually. Look to the darkness. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Let's just get it a little bit more around here. Right, and I want to get the Articuno as well. We'll just show that off. I think it's a legendary, so we'll get to where the Jinx are hanging out down there. Yeah. Song of Jinx's people. Oof. Not touching that one. Yeah. Especially when they've got like really exaggerated dances there. I can kind of see why people did not like Jinx, to be mm. fair. Let's see, Jigglypuff singing. I think you can get up to three of them here. Deimos, the clip of Tom, Tom panicking last year, I think that's a proper highlight, because it had to be, it was like about 8 minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I helped. I made good <laughs> use of my moderation powers. <laughs> lordy, lordy, lord. <laughs> My shame in the chat, highlighted for all to see. I love the clips feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is the very last chance you have, guys. LGM is in the lead with forty-four dollars. Dictini has forty-one dollars and one cent. So, you're free to go nuts. As we go to the rainbow cloud. Yes.
Where are you, you little fucker? There you are. Right, so you, this one, you can't just take a photograph of him straight out, you have to break that shield that he's using first. Yeah, just try with a pestle. If he would stop moving, this would be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe you have to catch up with the uh, the speedy thing as well. Probably, yeah. I'll do that whenever he gets too far Oh, what music just came up for this? It's pretty pumping. Uh, let's see, two hours. Chimbley the Battle from X and Y. That's a good song. I like it. THD's not a fan, but what is he a fan of? <laughs> Into the Spider-Verse, actually. I watched it with him for the first time last night. Ah, cool. Yeah. I would sound more enthusiastic, but I'm trying to break a small, fluffy animal out of its protective shield. Hmm. I don't know about Fluffy. Mewtwo in Detective Pikachu is very, uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? Lustrous? Uh, it ain't fur, let's just put it that way. Mm, but that's Mewtwo. <laughs> Haven't Tr seen Mew yet. <laughs> I guess so. I've got one shot of him, but that was from the back, so I'm going to try and break him out again to get a better shot. Where is he? Okay. Come on. It's from the back again. Oh, there you look around. Maybe that will be a bit better. Let's see if I can get a better one. Yeah, don't forget you can throw pasta balls at him. Yeah, but he's normally too far away by the time the thing breaks. <laughs> That's why you use the speedy thing to catch up. I'm using the speedy thing though. I think the second one was the best one so far because he glanced over his shoulder at me, but we'll keep going. That's, way, that's still too way far away, mate. Probably, but I'll keep trying. If he wouldn't fucking chaos control behind me the second I get to him, <laughs> that'd be nice. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, Kyrex donates three dollars. Man, wouldn't it be a kick in the dick teeny if it came from behind now just to mess with Kyrex? Oh, it's not from Kyrex. Oh. It was directed towards Kyrex. <laughs> Oh Jesus, three dollars to Dick TD. <laughs> Putting it at forty-four dollars and one cent. <laughs> Perfect, I love the super close ones. <laughs> oh, this might be a good one. Okay. Let's give it another shot, keep going until I'm proper confident we won. Because we got this. Okay. Come on, Mew. Okay. That might be a good one. Very good. Just say time when you're ready. Mm. Well, I mean, there's the end of the course, so I'll go through them at the end and then we'll pick a best one out of all of them. Okay. I completely forgot this actually had a goal gate. Yeah, yeah, I, I used to drag it out when I used to play this as a kid just because I like to see like, all the signs and stuff go past because I was a simple child. Yeah, Brad, you've got a point. Oh, this legendary mythical Pokemon. I'll only take one photograph of it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's all the proof we need. Oh, we just had a one dollar thing from oh. Crazy12 Eric. You're not clutching it for me that easily. Go LGM. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I believe there's credits after we've had it evaluated, so I suppose enter the credits is probably the best cutoff. One. Well, no, this is the cutoff, mate, when we caught when we caught Mew essentially. Okay, well, let's get evaluated and I'll say when and that'll be our cutoff point. Okay. Perfect. So right in the middle of the frame, I've got eight six hundred. My work is impeccable, keep up the good work. I'll save the results. Come on. Let's return to the lab now. Very good, mate. Very good. Welcome no new donations since then, Ooh. so the winner with $45 is LGM. Nice. So the local German man will be moving off of, what was it, Neo Turf Masters and into Mario Golf. Mm -hmm. See you. And. Oh, now it's playing the credits. So I yeah. think this is going through our pictures, so let's judge them as they go past. 
Okay, I'll do it 10 seconds after, because that's just how I roll. Yeah, but like, I like the Charmander ones, because they're both doing like basically the same pose. <laughs> there was a $1 thing for a dick move, I'm sorry, but you got in too <laughs> late on that one. Yeah, we have to draw the line eventually. Yeah. Is he going to show me another picture? Oh yeah, there's the Psyduck. The Psyduck one wasn't that amazing. Mm. Although, given my backup picture of him was one of him like drowning underwater, I can't really complain much. Mm -hmm. Oh, Vault's gonna be so proud. <laughs> I think that was my coughing photo. <laughs> Let's have a look <laughs> in the chicken <jiggly> part. <laughs> Oh, Jigglypuff's Jesus. fucking terrified! <laughs> Where is Vogue? I think he's just chilling. Uh, Brad says, I, I, I can't use this, Pokey P will get on my ass." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't Pokey P a just... Team... Plasma? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, essentially, that's kind of what they were going for. Oh yeah, sweet same of baby Jesus. <laughs> Sweet sewer, baby Jesus, get yourself a Dragonite! That's right, a Dragonite! I love that so fucking much. <laughs> Why is that so ominous? Voice actors, Jimmy Zoppy, and others. <laughs> They're the ones who weren't big enough names to be worth crediting, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bulbasaur is happy. He is cute. You, know, you might want to just eat that apple, because I think that other one in the background is trying to sneak up for it. Yep, it's a, a dog-eat-dog -dog world. In the Bulbasaur world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> yeah, like, although, if they're, like, being eaten, technically it'd be vegetables, wouldn't it? So, you know, maybe Bulbasaur's a healthy meal. Hmm. An excellent point. An excellently stupid point, that is. <laughs> They're the only ones I can have. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Pokemon Snap. Is Spiral set up and ready to go? Uh, let's have a little looky here. Uh, let's see. Because we can watch Pikachu run across the tile screen here as many times as we need, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you guys for the amount of donations we got during this. Um, at the start of the day, I was uh, being uh, a little bit of a worry ward because it was very slow, but even with the slow amount of donations at the start, we really appreciate it. But the pickup was like, whoo! Like, goddamn! Yeah, it's, like, been like, it's been like constant over this run, isn't it? So thank you very much for all, uh, all of them, folks. Uh, all right, Spy is ready, so we're going to hand off to uh, him and Nat, uh, Flame, if you could uh, help them get set up and whatnot, and then do the rest of the things, and then you may go back to your rest chamber for the night. <laughs> we'll see about that, but yeah, thank you for <laughs> watching, folks. Spy's up next, so you can stick around for Mario Golf, and I'll be back tomorrow with Contra, but until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.